Tom here for Lawrence Systems, and this video is not for everyone. This video is a, well, me talking about the software we use to manage and run my IT services business. And this is a greatly debated topic where people, and rightly so, spend a lot of time sometimes overthinking what software they should use to run their business. And uh, yeah, it's not an easy choice. And for those of you that want to not even watch any more of this video, the description is down below and a link to our forum post where I have all of it posted. So you don't even have to watch any more of this video to just find out that list. I wanted to make that part as easy as possible. And I wanted to get it out there for those of you that are in the home lab space or end users that may follow my channel that, yeah, this video is more talking about the business software. So unless you work in the IT industry, it may be not that interesting for you. Secondly, a lot of the software I'm going to talk about has minimums. Some of those minimums are 50, 100, or 200 endpoints in order to sign up for using this software. That being said, it may not be where you're at in business. So for those of you that are in that IT MSP services business, just be aware that that is a moving target. And I don't have that information. Sometimes you do have to call to the sales reps to find that detail out. I'm not here to talk about that aspect of it. What I am here to talk about is what we do. And the easiest way to figure out what we do is, well, I'm gonna throw an ad roll right here just to talk about the services we offer, and then we'll talk about the software. But as I said, it's in the description, so you don't have to watch the ad roll, but if you like to watch the ad roll, it's here. Are you an individual or company looking for support on a network engineering, storage, or virtualization project? Is your company or internal IT team looking for someone to proactively monitor your system security or offer strategic guidance to keep your IT systems operating smoothly? Not only would we love to help consult on your project, we also offer fully managed or co-managed IT service plans for businesses in need of IT administration or IT teams in need of additional support. With our expert install team, we can also assist you with all of your structured cabling and Wi-Fi planning projects. If any of this piques your interest, fill out our Hire Us form at lawrencesystems.com so we can start crafting a solution that works for you. If you're not interested in hiring us, but you're looking for other ways you want to support this channel, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. And now back to our content. All right, for those of you that made it and survived the ad roll or just skipped ahead, here is the forum posts link. And this has all of the different software like that we use G Suite, that we're using Fresh Test for ticketing, we use Invoice Ninja, we use Ninja One. I like things with Ninja in their name. And we use Sentinel One, we use Huntress. Those are the primary tools that we use. Now let's talk a little bit about how we came to those conclusions. Now, one thing I wanna preface this with is I'm not here to try to convince you to use the same stack that we have or that anything that we didn't choose is somehow inferior or terrible. There are a lot of different methodologies you can use. Ultimately, if you have a system that is keeping your clients happy, safe, secure, servicing everything that you need servicing your business, and also, of course, has to be making you profitable, you found the right mix and congratulations. Don't rip it out just because you've seen something shiny and new. I think this is something where until you get more operationally mature as a business, a lot of people will go, well, I, I see I can get this product cheaper, or that product cheaper. And unfortunately, price sometimes really starts driving the decision-making tree a little bit too much for some people. I'm not saying everyone, I'm just throwing it out there that we don't drive it based on price. Matter of fact, that's one of the things we have to consider, but the first and foremost consideration before choosing any of these is talking to their security teams, asking them for how they handle and for documents of how they handle their internal security. This is just really important because these tools all operate at high levels of privilege at all of our clients' endpoints. Therefore, a compromise of any of these tools can lead to some really bad ramifications such as the Kaseya ransomware incident of 2021. Now let's talk about how we do our testing. Testing is really not simple. There's no way about that. It's easy to look at all the products and think about all the things they do, but it's another reality to integrate them all into your business. And I'm not gonna hear, sit here and slam the products we didn't choose. And the reason why is some of the product choices we were making started last year. We tried things, they didn't work out. We dropped those products. We didn't like the way their web interface worked. We didn't like the way they were managed. That could be very different here in, April of 2022 than it was in 2021 when we evaluated it. So I'm not here to make the list of things we didn't use, but we did try. The tools we used, just like the ones we tried, all went through kind of a process internally of setting up labs, making sure we logged into their 
management interfaces and just kind of got a good understanding of how things worked with the product. And some didn't make the cut. The ones that are on the list are the ones that we chose that we did like. And before we roll them out to clients, we still didn't roll them out to all of our clients at once. We still would do sections at a time just to try to minimize any disruptions that may occur that when you go from maybe five or six systems in a lab to 100, 200, 300, 400 endpoints and beyond, there are more problems you find as you run across all these diverse business environments that we manage. So as we roll it out to larger groups of endpoints, you end up with different perspectives on things. We have done all the troubleshooting and understand how these products work. Even before we switched with Ninja One, before we switched to Enable, one of the things we had to do was go through a Windows patch cycle. I didn't even want to start loading this at all on clients until we really were clear on how it handled Windows patching. So we actually had to go through two Windows patch cycles. So there was two months of just having it run on evaluation servers. This is something you can usually get some flexible time with, with the uh, companies when you're deploying this, when you're buying it, it, you know, buy a few licenses, some type of minimal uh, proof of concept to before you roll it out to the rest of uh, your fleet, essentially. So there's a lot of time and effort that goes into this. This is why I don't have time to test everything that people will grab their caps lock and suggest, well, I like this product and I wish you would evaluate it because it's the best one out there. Uh, sometimes we do evaluate them, sometimes we don't. Uh, it's just about finding time to do so and figuring out what's the right fit. But all these products, as I said, are linked down in the description to the forum post where we can have a more in-depth discussion on it. I will, of course, be replying and reading the YouTube comments. But for those of you who wonder, where did your YouTube comment go? I don't know. YouTube sometimes filters things. This is why I run my own forums and do the own moderation on it. So I'm not subjected to the YouTube's algorithm of whether or not they want to filter comments, which is kind of their own random thing they do. So if you want to have more in-depth discussion about the tools we use or just want to click the link and view it, my forums are free to sign up and are free to view without signing up at all. You can go there completely anonymously. I don't block people from viewing things in my forums. All right, and thanks. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a sure project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a Join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.